Assalamu alaikum. I am Suresh from Addu High School. Welcome to A level accounting. A level accounting has two units. One is advanced subsidiary that you will be covering in grade 11 and advanced level 2 that you will be doing in grade 12. This uh, International Advanced Subsidiary, IAS, and uh, International Advanced 2 will constitute your International Advanced 11. So by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to identify how your A-level accounting is different from O-level accounting. And uh, you will be able to recognize how you will be assessed by the examiners for your A-level examination. And uh, you, will get, uh, you will be familiar with uh, the new structure of your further education. Uh, you completed your O-level under Cambridge University. Cambridge University is the world famous university accepted by everywhere in the world, of course. But now you say goodbye to Cambridge University. You're going to join another world famous examination and uh, academic body that is edXA. Pearson edXA. You're going to join a world famous examination and uh, academic body accepted everywhere so it is a private examination body it was taken over by edexcel was taken over by pearson a public limited company P a, a pearson plc in 2013. edexcel is an abbreviation of two terms one is education and the other is excellence it is the largest awarding organization offering academic and vocational qualifications in schools and colleges in UK, not only in UK, all over the world. It is recognized internationally. Accounting, Unit 1. WAC 11-01. The paper name is The Accounting System and Costing. We are not going into the subject today. We are going to learn how we are going to learn this subject. Okay. You will be assessed externally by a written examination. At the end of grade 11, you will have a written examination by the edXL and uh, Grade 12 also, at the end of the year, you will have a written examination. So written examination duration for each paper will be three hours. And the maximum marks will be 200 marks. One examination for grade 11, unit one. This examination will consist of two sections, sections A and section B. Section A, you will have two questions for 55 marks each. Not a single question, it will be multi-part questions. No choice, both questions are compulsory. And in section B, you will get four questions and you have the freedom to choose any three. The most convenient question you can choose. Each question will carry 30 marks. Total 55 plus 55, 110 marks for section A, 30 plus 30 plus 30, 90 marks for section B. Total 200 marks. Then assessment objectives. Your four skills will be assessed by the examiners. Assessment objective one, assessment objective two, AO3, AO4. AO1 is to check your, to test your knowledge and understanding. Then AO2 is to test your application skill. 
And AO3 is analysis, and AO4 is evaluation skill. So, the relationship between this assessment objective, that is weightage. Uh, more weightage will be for application skill. Then comes your knowledge and understanding. You can see assessment objective, knowledge and understanding, AO1, weightage is 30 percentage. Then 43 to 44 percentage will be to test your application skill and 17 percentage is analysis and uh, 9 to 10 percentage your evaluation skill. For grade 12, that is unit 2, this weightage will be slightly different. They will reduce the um, knowledge and understanding and application and they will add it to your analysis and the evaluation skill. Command words, question words. That is, they will be using these command words and it is very important we should know these command words because our answer and scoring marks will be based on these command words. Calculate, command, complete, define, evaluate, explain, identify, prepare, recommend, state, these are all the common command words that you will see in your examination paper. What we have to do? Check. Calculate. That is, this will involve working out a numerical problem using mathematical processes and a mathematical formulae showing relevant working. That is important, you'll have to show the working. You'll practice those things. Examples of question, that is, you will be asked to calculate the capital introduced by the new partnership on 1st May 2020 by Ali and Bashir. Or you will be asked to calculate the projected profit or loss for the year ending 30th April 2021. Calculate means you can just show the calculation, no need of preparing an account, no need. But by preparing an, an account, you can calculate. You might have learned that in order to calculate the credit purchase, we can prepare a trade payables ledger control account, right? To calculate gross profit, we can prepare a statement of profit or loss. If the Christian command word is calculate, it is not necessary that you have to prepare a, it in a format. To calculate capital, you can prepare a trial balance. By distinguishing the assets and liabilities, you can find the capital. Without preparing the trial balance also, you can calculate capital. Calculate. Then comment. After calculating, you will get an answer. On that answer, you have to give certain statement with a brief explanation, how or why. That is, comment. Example is given, comment on the sufficiency of the liquidity and the profitability. You will be calculating some liquidity ratios like uh, working capital ratio, that is current ratio, or asset test ratio. Then about the sufficiency. After the calculation, you will have to write whether this ratio is sufficient, that is whether the business is having sufficient liquidity or not. And you say why. Why you said it is not sufficient. Okay, that is comment. Then comes complete. A format will be given, a table may be given, some of the columns might be filled and you will have to fill other columns. That is complete. After calculating, you can fill that. Example, complete the schedule of non-current assets will below. Okay, then define. Define, you know, 
to state the precise meaning of an accounting term or to provide a description for example define goodwill we know goodwill is the excess amount paid over and above the net asset value or the question may be define the term allocation of overheads that is you will have to give the precise meaning of the term that is what is expected by the examiners then next come evaluate that may be something new to you but by the end of the year you will be very familiar with that for every question the last question will be last part will be evaluate evaluate means you will have to analyze the positive and negative side and you will have to come to your own conclusion judgment okay example that is this will involve reviewing the information and then bringing it together to form a conclusion drawing on evidence including the strength and the weakness of, of uh, the situation then alternative action all you will have to do that is very important for a level exam example evaluate whether the straight line method is suitable for all non current asset so there you will say the positive side of non uh, that is straight line method then negative side then you will conclude whether it is suitable for all the non current asset or not or whether some other methods can be used for what type of non current asset this uh, method will be suitable that is evaluation okay then explain if the question is to explain you will have to give some further that is addition to your answer linked justification that is exemplification of a point explain example is explain whether each of the following costs are variable you will have to say whether it is variable or fixed or semi fixed or semi variable this all may be new term to you to your accounting okay then identify identify means no need of any explanation you just mention that information to be selected from a range of possibilities list or given uh, stimulus example identify the errors some errors may be given you will have to identify whichever is that which error is that oh that is error of principle question is to identify if identify and explain then you will have to say error of uh, principle because error of principle states this and this in this question this is okay in that way you will have to ex, uh, explain that but if identify you just have to list write the name only then prepare prepare means the remember you will have to use or follow the format prepare means question may be to prepare a statement of profit or loss arrange the financial information into a standard format okay then recommend that also we need some sense logical sense you are asked me to recommend suggest a solution or to tell your decision that will come in evaluation part actually okay example recommend giving reasons the basis on which of the which the fall on which the following expenses should be apportioned between shop and the workshop you will have to recommend you will have to say why it is your decision you can take your own decision but tell why then 
state state knowledge and understanding level only that is request to recall of one or more pieces of information just think and state state two examples of goodwill then state the effect on each of the following if goodwill is retained in the books that is profit or loss for the year just state what is the effect we will write no effect goodwill is not related with the profit or loss then goodwill how goodwill will have the effect on bank overdraft you just write no effect no need of any further explanation time will be very important if you are going to explain all these points you won't be able to finish the exam on time so be familiar with the command words of the question then awarding and reporting how you will be awarded the grades ias that is international advanced subsidiary will be graded on a five grade scales from a to e five grades a grade b grade c grade d grade and e grade but ial international advanced level will be graded on six point scale that is a star to e a star a b c d e okay individual uh, unit results will be reported you will get uh, uh, mark sheets for ias level and uh, ial level only unit 1 will contribute to ias grade and uh, both the units that is ias and ia2 international advanced 2 will contribute to the ial grade okay to get a pass in uk according to edexcel if you get uh, a grade uh, from a or a star to e you will be considered passed but we have to keep in mind that in maldives a to c is treated as pass for uh, certain needs for example if you have to be included in um, national top 10 a to c will be considered so we we'll have to make sure that we fall in any of these grade a to c but universities if you go outside maldives you know to get the entry for higher studies even if it is d grade or e grade it will be treated as pass a pass in ias subject is indicated by one of the five grades a b c d e of which grade a it is simple thing grade a is the highest and uh, grade e is the lowest but IAL it will be a star to e a star is the highest and e is the lowest if your grade is below e you will receive an unclassified u result it is not a grade we cannot say it is u grade it says that you are unclassified no grade zero grade okay so the marks that you have to score for this grades international for international advanced subsidiary for grade 11 even though you are going to write the exam for 200 marks your marks will be made to a uniform mark 300 that the examiners will do out of this 300 marks you have to get uh, at least 240 to score a grade at least 210 that is um, 70% for achieving a b grade and uh, 182 209 to achieve a c grade minimum 150 for d grade and 124 e grade 
for advanced level that is after completing grade 12 that is IAS and IA2 both together your uniform marks will be 600 to achieve an A grade you have to score at least 480 424B 364C 304 D grade and 244 E grade. For international advanced level, you will be awarded an A star. For IAS, for grade 11, no A star, A to E. For IL, you will be awarded an A star. You have to achieve an A for international advanced level qualification. That is, out of 600, you have to get at least 480 marks. Plus one more criteria you will have to fulfill, that is for A2, IA2, you have to get uh, at least 90 percentage, that is 270 marks out of 300. Then you will be awarded an A star. Okay for grade 11 accounting and next week we will go into detail these all are the topics that we have to cover six topics principles of accounting and double entry bookkeeping two control procedure then comes financial statement of organizations introduction to costing then analysis of accounting statements, social and ethical accounting. Out of this, uh, some topics are familiar to you. You have done it. We will be studying some more deep that is advanced. Okay, so next week we will be meeting with the topics in detail. Thank you very much.